Okay, I get a lot of questions about this, so I'm going to go through how exactly I split my own doses of Moonjaro from this 15 milligram pen down to uh, whatever dose you need, really. It's really easy to do. It's much more cost effective. The supplies to do it are inexpensive and anyone can do it. So first things first, you wanna make sure you have freshly washed hands or you're using gloves. You wanna make sure your surfaces are clean. Um, I use alcohol prep pads to make sure everything is clean. Even though none of my um, materials will be touching the surface, I'm gonna give it a good wipe down anyway. I just washed my hands, but I'm also going to give my fingers a good wipe down. Because you want to be careful when you're working with things you're going to be injecting into your body. So this is the first thing that I use. I know there's a lot of um, information out there about how to take the Munjaro pen apart manually, but I don't want to do that. So I use a slightly larger needle to nest over the top of the small Munjaro needle to draw out the medication. And that way you never have to unlock the pen. You never have to push the button. You don't have to take the pen apart. So there's zero risk that you're going to waste your medication with a misfire. Another thing you need is uh, sterile vials. I use a three milliliter size. You can uh, get a smaller size if you want, but that's, that's a good size to use. These are available. You can get these on Amazon. You can get these through various medical supply stores. Just make sure you're getting uh, sterile vials. They'll have this little um, cap on them. Don't take that off until right before you are ready to do this. Okay, so we've got the vial, we've got the Munjaro. The other thing you need is vac water. This is uh, something that will help you create easier, more measurable doses from the Munjaro pen to whatever dose you need. And it also helps keep things from um, growing bacteria, helps keep it sterile. It's recommended to use this. Um, I get this from, um, you know, I don't know the website right now. I'll put it in the description. So before you do anything with these vials, I've got another alcohol wipe. I wipe down the top of this. All right. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out the back water to put into the vial before I mess with the actual medication. So for me, um, I do five to six milligram doses. So, because every dose of Munjaro, no matter how much medication or how many milligrams of medication are in it, is the same 0 0.5 milliliter in volume. So I add one milliliter of backwater to the vial plus the 0 0.5 milliliters of the Munjaro, and then I have 1.5 milliliters in this vial, which I can then split into 3.5 milliliter doses. So be very careful once that's uncapped. You don't wanna accidentally stick yourself. The first thing I do is, since I'm going to take one milliliter, I measure out one milliliter 
on the syringe. And that's just air in there, but it's going to help you get the backwater out if you inject the air into the vial before you turn it upside down and draw out one milliliter of backwater. And make sure you get the bubbles out so you're measuring accurately. Okay, back over. And now typically I would have already taken off the cap of this, but I forgot, so I'm gonna do that now. And once it comes off, it doesn't go back on. And again, before I do anything with the top of this, I'm going to clean the top of it with an alcohol wipe. And again, disclaimer, this is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor. Please consult your healthcare professional for advice. This is just my own experience with how I split my own doses of Munjaro. Okay, so I'm going to put the back water into the sterile vial. Okay, and now it is time to withdraw the medication. And this part is a little bit tricky. So there's the needle inside of there. Okay. So what you want to do is nest this larger needle over the top of that small Munjaro needle and you'll feel it slide in. And once it does, you can let go and it will stay on there. That's how you know it's on right. So then I turn it upside down and slowly, slowly, slowly pull back the plunger. And you'll start to see little bubbles go into the vial of Munjaro. And what you're gonna have to do is go back and forth a little bit. So I'm drawing it out, but there's, there's some air that's coming into this as well as the Munjaro. So I press it back again until the air is out and then I keep slowly, slowly withdrawing it and it it takes a few minutes and it's a little bit of a back and forth here and I can see the bubbles going back into the the moon jar file too And if you look really closely into the syringe, you'll be able to see the medication slowly going in there. And there might be some bubbles and that's okay. If you wanna be gentle with this, but it's not like, it's not a big deal if there's a little bubbles here and there. And yes, this is a little slow and tedious, but I've just heard so many stories about people accidentally misfiring the Munjaro and then their whole, uh, their whole vial of meds is wasted, like on their working surface or trying to fire the Munjaro pen into the little tiny, um, the little tiny area that you have to hit in the, the vial, it seems like a recipe for disaster. Where with this method, like you're not touching anything, the needle isn't touching anything, but the inside of this other sterile needle, you're never unlocking the pen. So it's, there's no danger of misfiring because you never have to fire the pen 
and the whole thing comes right out into this other in, the, in this other syringe so that's all she wrote you can see inside there hopefully I'm gonna set this down and cap this just so I can show you typically I wouldn't be doing all this capping and uncapping but for the sake of the video you can hopefully see here that there's no more medication in there usually you would see a bubble going back and forth in the mujaro and that is gone because all the medication is in this syringe so i'm going to put the cap back on this and you can see it's never been unlocked and the button it's on this is an unfired pen so here's the medication uh, I already cleaned the surface of the sterile vial, but I'm kind of extra with the, <laughs> the alcohol pads because it's better safe than sorry. So I'm going to do it again. Here we go. Cleaning the top of this vial. You can see here um, how small that is, if you were tr to try to perfectly align that to get the Munjaro pen to inject into that, it if it hits the metal at all, you're toast. Like it will not, it wouldn't be right. So, all right, so we wipe the top of the vial. Oh, oh, that's not good. I twisted instead of pulled straight off. There we go. All right. So now, I am gently adding the Munjaro to the sterile bile and to the backwater. There we go. So that's all the medication in there. Carefully recap the syringe and throw it away. I only use these one time. So now you have your vial of Munjaro and backwater. There's 15 milligrams of Munjaro in this. So every, um, every 0.5 milliliters I draw out will be five milligrams. So to actually give the injection, um, I use these one milliliter insulin syringes. I'm going to show you um, the needle on these is really, hopefully this focuses, it's really short. It is no big deal. It's tiny. I was really nervous to give myself um, the injection manually with these needles at first, but it is, it hurts less than it does with the automatic injector from the Munjaro. So I'm gonna uncap this. Um, since I'm doing six milligrams, I actually have a little bit left from my previous vial. So I am going to use that first. And this is the other vial um, that I'm finishing off. So again, I'm going to clean it off well before I draw any medication out of it. And the last little bit can be a little difficult to get out, but if you're patient, you can do it. I always inject some air into it. It makes the medication come out easier. And for anyone who's like, ah, we can't possibly be trusted to do anything but unlock the pen and then press the button. Um, diabetics beg to differ. They've been dosing their own insulin uh, for many, many years. Um, also people that take injectable vitamins. There's many injectable medications that are self-administered at home. And this is really no different. So you can see here, I got point two milliliters 
Um, you can see it's 20 units on here. Every, every 10 units is a tenth of a milliliter. So there's 20 units. So that's 0.2 milliliters. So I need um, six milligram dose. I need 40 more units from the vial. One. So I'm going to draw it back the 60 unit mark. I'm going to carefully insert the needle into the vial and I'm going to push that air into the vial. And then I will withdraw the plunger slowly until I get it to the 60 unit mark. Now when I first started doing this, I was um, on the five milligram dose. And so I was only withdrawing 0.5 milliliters for uh, the the 50 units. So this way, um, with the, with the math, how this works out with the 15 milligram pen, adding one milliliter of backwater, it makes it so that every 0.1 milliliter is one milligram of medication. So it's really easy to measure out what you want and adjust your doses the way you want. Um, I got really sick when I moved from 2.5 to 5. Uh, so not only is splitting my own doses a way to save a substantial amount of money, but it, it's also a way to be able to titrate up at a more... Um, slow and steady pace. Uh, so now I have this dose ready. It's ready to inject after I, of course, uh, use an alcohol wipe on the place I'm going to inject. But I just took this stuff out of the fridge, so I'm going to let it sit out for about a half an hour. Um, the injection is super easy. I'm not going to show that on video. Uh, but what you do is remove the cap after you've cleaned the area that you want to inject with the alcohol pad. Um, the only difference that you need to do between pushing the button and doing the self-injection is um, that you kind of act like you're throwing a dart. Like don't try to go super slow until you break the skin. If you're um, nervous, it actually will hurt more that way. If you just press it in steadily and with some purpose, it'll go in without resistance and you literally won't even feel it. These needles are so small, um, it's so easy. So just push it in, slowly press the plunger down, leave it in for about five seconds after that, remove straight out, recap carefully, because you don't want to accidentally stick yourself and dispose of in a sharps container. So I hope that helps. It's I was super nervous to do this before I did it. Um, but then once I started, I can't imagine ever going back. Um, I like being able to control my own dose. Um, I like being able to titrate up slowly and I really like the cost savings. Um, one box will last me, uh, like three months instead of one month. So that's a third of the cost. Um, and as long as, you know, the price is so insane in the U.S. compared to other markets, I do not feel bad and I do not need this, uh, this pen. <laughs> if I could buy the vials directly from Mujaro or from Eli Lilly, I, I would. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps.